List price is the most important thing sellers need to get right before putting their homes on the market. In the Bay Area, everything sells. From brand new homes, to vacant lots, condemned buildings, to lipstick on a pig remodelings, flips, and homes in what we call original condition. The challenge is to sell it at the highest possible price, fast and stress-free. Looking at recent sales, we see that as many as 36% of the sellers list their homes at a wrong price and had to adjust it before getting an acceptable offer and closing a deal. What went wrong for these homes and these home sellers? In reality, home prices are set by the buyers. Buyers bring the money to the table and only they can decide how high or how low they want to go in order to secure that one home for themselves and their families. The listing price is there to start the conversation, a hint of seller's expectations. After all, everything in real estate is negotiable, especially prices. When sellers set the listing price outside of the acceptable range, instead of attracting buyers, the price discourages house hunters from seeing the property and from submitting offers. In the Bay Area, it is expected that homes sell above asking price, on average with 5-7% to overbid. Many buyers automatically add this amount to the listing price when they think about their offers. When the seller lists homes close to the market value, the property may look overpriced. Some sellers, especially out-of-the-area sellers, want to list high to be able to have room for negotiation. The result is an overpriced listing. That is why the majority of price adjustments are price reductions. About 85% of all price changes are price drops. The first indication that the home is not priced right is the time on the market. Here in Santa Clara and San Mateo counties, median time on the market is around 12 days. Half of the new listings sell in 12 days or less. So if you, a seller, are not getting an acceptable offer after two weekends of open houses, it is an indication that the home is not priced correctly for the current market conditions. And if you are a buyer and a home you like is still on the market after two or three weeks, it is an opportunity to negotiate a deal before the owner drops the price and announces to the whole world that they are ready to move on. Work with your agent to find the best opportunities on the market and to take advantage of them. Back to the price adjustments. If your home is on the market for a month or two or even three, you can wait for the right buyer or the market conditions to change to get your dream price. You can even take your home off the market and release it at a later time. But you have to sell if you have to move now. There are three common scenarios. The first one is to walk the price down until it meets the market. It means that you will make small adjustments, let's say $25,000 or $50,000 on a $2 million listing. The advantage of this strategy is that it will notify all potential buyers who saved your home in their online searches about the price change and remind them about your home. The downside is that this small change will not trigger a sense of urgency in most buyers. These discounts are not significant enough to make them think that they are losing an opportunity to buy your home and make an amazing deal. You may have to make a few price reductions, chase the market down before getting an offer and closing the sale. Another option is to do a significant price drop, maybe as large as $300,000 or even half a million. The goal is to drop the price significantly below the market price and create a feeding frenzy. Generate this come and get it feeling. Send a message that if you won't buy it now, you will miss an opportunity to own one-of-a-kind home. This strategy usually generates multiple offers and sometimes even offers well above the owner's dream price. It is a way to get a real market pulse and fast. Keep in mind that you, the seller, are not obligated to accept any offers even if they are above the list price. If this strategy doesn't work, you can go back to the original listing price or even take the home off the market. The third strategy is, after testing the market, to increase the price to your dream price level. 
This move will announce to everyone that you will sell at this new price and will invite interested parties to make offers. We don't see this strategy leading to successful sales very often because it is not much different from keeping your home on the market, waiting for that one buyer who will fall in love with your home or for the market conditions to change. In my recent analysis, only 2-3% of sold homes went through a price increase prior to sale. If you are a seller in today's market, your agent should be able to advise you on your selling price strategy and, if necessary, help you adjust it based on the market feedback. And if you are a buyer, go see the homes as soon as they are coming on the market. With the help of your agent, you should be able to figure out the level of interest from other potential buyers and to formulate your offer strategy for each house that looks attractive to you. Whether the listing is set for getting multiple offers after the first weekend of open houses, gets stuck on the market, or goes through a price adjustment, you should be ready to jump on the best opportunities as they present themselves. This is Michael Tallis with the Tallis team. If you are thinking about buying or selling a home within a year, or even two, let's get together on the phone or on Zoom to review what you need to do to enter the market and to complete a successful purchase or sale. My contact information is in the description of this video. Keep in mind that I'm available in the evenings and on weekends at the times when you are off work. I'm looking forward to connecting with you. Till next time.